dead center. <laughs> To be honest, when it happened, um, you know, it was that was Thursday. We were the first match up, and I remember um, Mark O'Meara had won two major championships that year. David Vala got to world number one. So you know, you're playing against two guys that were in really good form, and, and I remember coming up the last. We were one up, and we'd played great all day. You know, the flag was on the front, couldn't come up short, and I kept saying, "You can't be short, you can't be short." And he like nuked an eight on. He was pumped up, and it went long. I I'd felt like I'd sort of done my partner wrong by persuading him to hit the eight iron. And then David Duval, who'd be playing great that year, hit it to about two feet, so it was a gimme birdie. So you sort of feel a little cheated, like maybe the best you're going to do is going to get a half. So I was looking at the part and, you know, at the time you don't think about making it, but I'll never forget my caddy Anthony Knight. He said to me, Wayne Riley had made the same putt in the Australian Open. And that was the last thing I remember thinking before I got over the putt. And it's a huge difference. I know it's easy to talk about afterwards, but when you get over a putt and you're not thinking of missing or you're not thinking of anything other than somebody made this. And then once it got down there, just looking at the last two or three feet, it was, it was center cup. And I think that's the biggest reaction, probably the longest putt I ever made that meant something.